I, d- I just don't know what to make of it. I really don't know what to make of it. Right. Um, okay. Love, hi guys, love your podcast. Anyway, I guess I have many confessions from over the years, but this one sticks with me. So, first year of teaching, my first teacher slash parents evening. By the way, I started teaching when I was 27. I got married at 25 and we had a daughter a year later. Yeah. This, is kind of a rele- this is kind of relevant. Well, this was in a fair size, one might say even bog size, secondary school. And there were lots of tables laid out for all the teachers. I was doing okay, but after an hour or so, I had a bit of a gap. So I went for a short break. When I returned from my next appointment, there were two absolutely stunning young ladies sat waiting for me. Firstly, I really struggled to tell who was the mother and who was the daughter. The pupil who the meeting referred to was a year eight pupil and wasn't there. But it was her older sister who was about 17 and a mum, who I would have said was about 32, 33 but looked very young. So that was my first challenge, trying to work out who to direct my comments to. However, the bigger problem was that I was absolutely and totally blown away by the one who had turned out to be the mum. I'd guessed correctly and was directing most of the conversation to her. In a typical man way, is this typical? I'm not sure. My mind was having a real problem staying on task and my libido was firing on all (laughs) sides. (laughs) <laughs> right. I was reading this before and I was like I don't know what to make of it wait wait so this guy is married with a kid yeah. and he's got parents evening with this mum who by the sounds of it is a bit of a yummy mummy yeah. and he's there going so yeah in geography uh, but before geography uh, do you know why they call me uh, Fred Flintstone because I can make your bed right <laughs> This should not have been happening. This was a teacher-parent evening. I was married and we had a young daughter. <laughs> I guess it was... <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what to make of it. I, <laughs> I guess it was love. <laughs> Wait, let me finish that sentence. Right. I guess it was love or lust at first sight and it hit me real bad. <laughs> Somehow, somehow, I seem to get through the 10 minute consult- consultation, My okay? God, man. <laughs> At least I thought I did, but in truth, I. That's <laughs> creamed in my pants! <laughs> <laughs> um, at least I thought I did, but in truth, I have very little memory of the event. What I do know is, the year eight daughter came up to me the next day at the end of the lesson and asked if she could speak with me for a moment. As the class filed off, she proceeded to give me a note from her mum, saying that she was flattered by my attention, but already had a boyfriend, and after some thought, I decided not to take me up on my offer of a date. (gasps) Parents' evening became pretty mundane after this. So he's saying in that, in the haze of the 10 minute consultation. (laughs) (laughs) Now he's brought that up. So um, one thing your daughter's really good at is putting the date in a book. Talking of dates, <laughs> I think for yeah. Friday. <laughs> or just like, I tell you, she could really do some with some extra tutoring in history. I could come round about it. <laughs> She'll be in bed, won't she? <laughs> I, I just didn't know what to make of that. I think that. I mean, fair, I, I love it. Yeah. I think it's a brilliant convention. I mean, it, 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 the best bit about it is, it was like one of them films. Everything you were saying, I was going, oh my God, no way. And at the end... <laughs> He got rejected! <laughs> he got married! Imagine a big romantic film at the end. Will you marry me? No. <laughs> <laughs> he can't remember it! So was he drunk and doing a parents' evening? God knows, right. I'll tell you what would have made that confession even better. If he was hitting on the 17 year old sister. <laughs> What an absolute <laughs> Tina turn around that had been. Then I realised it wasn't the mum. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. Oh. The amount of, t- the amount of U-turns <laughs> that could have took. 